Hello everyone, welcome back to another vlog. My name is Olivia if you're new here and today I thought I would just kind of take you along for a day kind of like in my life. It's a Saturday and I have the day off from work so I thought I would just kind of take you guys along on everything that I do today. So if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram, which is always linked down below. But right now, I it's 8.30 and I'm heading to Whole Foods actually because we're out of some of the things that I need for my breakfast. I'm out of like my bread that I usually eat. So I need to go grab that and then just like a few other things that I need. So I'm gonna do that before I eat anything and kind of like before I get my day started. That way I have everything. So yeah, I'm doing that right now. And I just have like this little detox water with me that I made last night. It just has, which I would have shown in the video, but um, it just has lemon, ginger, and mint leaves in it. And I just let it sit overnight in the fridge. So yeah, that's what I'm drinking right now. And then I think I'm gonna stop at Starbucks on the way back from Whole Foods and get a nitro because that's just what I'm craving right now. But I am going to head out and I will probably talk to you guys either at Starbucks or when I am finished with Whole Foods. But I will talk to you guys a little bit later um, and kind of check back in with you guys then. So I'm back in my car now. I finished at Whole Foods and I think that was the quickest Whole Foods run of my life because I literally ran in and out and there was like hardly anyone in there and everything i needed was right there i thought that they stopped selling the bread that i love the food for life bread but actually they just moved it so i was so happy to find that so i bought three loaves of that just to make sure that i have it for like the next couple of weeks and then i just got my starbucks i got a nitro cold brew so i'm just going to i think head home and drink this and then i actually think what I'm going to do first is I got a lot of packages in the other day that I wanted to show you guys and just kind of do like a quick try on haul for you just because they're just like piling up but I want to show you guys. So this is actually one of the things that I got in. It's just like this square neck Zara tank top that is like really thick and ribbed so you don't have to wear a bra with it but I just kind of want to show you guys the other pieces that I got because I thought they were so cute and like great transition pieces into spring and fall. So I'm going to go home and show you guys those. And then I think I'm gonna head to my lake house for the day, just to kind of spend the day up there and enjoy the sun up there. It's a little cloudy here, but I think it's a little bit sunnier there because it's off the ocean. But I'm gonna head home right now and then I will show you everything that I've gotten the past couple weeks and we'll talk then. So I'm back home now um, to show you guys the haul of stuff that I have and the clothing that I bought lately. But here is the pile of stuff that I'm gonna kind of show you and just kind of try on for you guys i'm gonna do this kind of like vlog style just because i don't really feel like sitting down to film a whole haul and then like edit and talk through it but so i showed you guys this top in the car so it's just this square neck rib tank top from zara you can see there's like a bra built in kind of and you can kind of see it right here but i liked it enough that i didn't think it was that much of a big deal but i've just been tucking into sweatpants lately for like when it's colder in the morning and i've been loving it and then i also bought these shoes these are from target and they're just these little like red, I don't know what you would call this material, but like kind of like tassel fringe stuff. But they're just like these red slides and they're so comfy and they're like made out of memory foam. So they're really comfy on your feet. And I just thought they were so cute and they kind of add a lot to an outfit that was plain before. So I've been loving these and I just like throwing them on before I leave because they're so easy just to chuck on. And then I'm going to start trying on the other stuff and then I'll show you guys and talk to you a little bit about this. So then I got the same Zara tank top in this blue color. It's like this royal blue color that I thought was really fun for summer, but then also would be super cute tucked into either like a pair of black jeans or like light wash denim for when we start to move into fall. But I just love like the shape of this shirt and the neckline. I think it's super flattering on everyone. So I picked up this in two colors, but I know they have a bunch of other colors on the website as well. So you can check those out also. But I just thought these were so cute and I've just been wearing them a ton lately. And they're super easy just to throw on, but they make your outfit look super, super cute. And then next is just this little like tan high neck tank top. This one's a little bit more casual than the others. I kind of bought this for like lounging and loungewear purposes, but I just love the neckline on this. It reminds me of the Zara bodysuits, but then it's just super flattering and tight around the waist. And then the back is super cute too. It's just like a little racer back. But I thought again for just like throwing on and being comfy, um, it was perfect. And the color is super flattering also. It makes you look tan when you have it on. So I thought it was just a great little basic to have, like a little staple. 
for something just to like throw on you could wear this like to bed or just for like lounging around or just like running errands or anything like that so i thought this was super cute also and then this is the last top that i have from zara it's their um this is the bodysuit and it's just in this really pretty light blue color um, but I thought this would be super fun for like the end of the summer and tucking in it's like a pair of white shorts or again like white denim and I just thought it'd be super fun for like dinners and it's just a super fun color. So then next I got a bunch of stuff from Target. I went in there the other day to buy some stuff for my townhouse for moving in in September but I can't go to Target and not look at any free thing. So I got this like tannish greenish like darker colored tank top that's again like high necked and ribbed. These are all kind of like the same version of a different tank top but this one is super lightweight but again you don't have to wear a bra with it so i thought this was super nice and really really flattering i know they have these in a bunch of other colors i got mine in extra small but this was the only extra small that they had in the store so i got this one i'll try to find these online i think they might be sold out but i just love them and again i think they're so flattering and then because it's a darker color i thought that it would transition really well into fall and I could like wear for a really long time just tucked into a pair of like light washed ripped denim and it would just be super super cute So I love this one Again really similar to all the other ones i've got but I just thought it was so cute And then I also picked up this little purple bikini top that I thought was just so cute I couldn't find matching bottoms to it, but I just thought I would wear my white Danielle bernstein ones with it But I thought that this was so cute My friend has this and she's always posting pictures on instagram of it And I just think it's so cute and so flattering and the shape like holds you in and like is really secure but it's also super flattering and cute and i also thought the color was really fun so i just picked this up because it was like a cheap bathing suit for the end of the summer so then this is the last clothing item i wanted to show you guys that i got in the other day this is a satin shirt dress from princess polly and it's just so cute and so flattering and i thought that it would be perfect for like going out to dinner and like going to fun dinners on again like the patio scene and i think with these little like fun colored slides it's so cute and then i just thought it was so fun and it'll be like a perfect end of summer dress it's pretty short on me if i was to order again i'd probably size up this isn't a zero but i'd probably size up just so it looks like a little bit more oversized but i was worried about the length because usually dresses are too long on me because i'm only 5'1 so a lot of things can be too long on me so i got this in a zero but I would definitely size up just so like it's a little bit, I wish it was like more open at the top, but I can definitely like play around with it and make it looser. But I just thought that this was so fun and I can't wait to wear it out to dinner. So that's everything for clothing that I have to show to you guys. And then right now I think I'm going to go downstairs and make some avocado toast because I'm starving. But let me know if you guys liked that like try on little section or if you guys like sit down haul videos better i just thought that right now just to like get it out of the way and kind of make it easier we would just do it that way but let me know what you guys like better but right now like i said i'm just going to go downstairs and make some food So I made it to the lake and I'm here now. It took about an hour to get here or it takes about an hour, but today I felt so, so long in the car. I don't really know why, but for some reason, it just felt like I was driving forever. So I'm here right now. I think I have to help like clean and do some stuff like that around here first before I can go outside and enjoy the weather. But I just love being here. There's so much natural light here. I love it and it's just so peaceful. So I think I'm gonna go start that right now and then just kind of hang out here for the rest of the day. And then I hope we go out on the boat and I'll just kind of like insert some clips probably. 
of what I do, but it's gonna be more like montage-y than me talking through it, I think, just because I wanna enjoy my time here. But I will make sure to show you guys what I do. So I'm gonna go get on that right now. I brought, or I'll show you guys what I brought for lunch first because we come here on the weekends usually. It's so dark when I'm like backlit, but we come up here on the weekends usually. So, so we really keep like a lot of food here. So I went, when I was at Whole Foods today, I bought this. It's just a sesame noodle salad. It just has really clean ingredients and I just thought it'd be super easy to take up here and I've had these before. So I'm gonna go do everything I need to get done before I can have fun and then I'll probably eat this for lunch a little bit later because it's only 11.45 right now. So I'm still full from my avocado toast this morning. But yeah, I'm just gonna go get on with everything and then I will talk to you guys a little bit later. So it's been kind of a while since I talked to you guys. I think it's like 7.30 right now. You would have seen that I was just kind of like enjoying my time at the lake. I came home around dinner time and then I just took the nicest shower. It was so hot and I just like scrubbed and exfoliated everything. And I wanted to talk to you guys about a few new things that I've been using and products that I've been like incorporating into my routine. So the first thing is this Evian facial spray. I got this from TJ Maxx, but I think I told you guys in one of my last videos in my nighttime skincare routine video that I wanted to find a replacement for my Mario Badescu rose water spray because the perfume and that stuff isn't that great for your face. So I just got this and it's just water in a can so you can just spray it and it's super hydrating for your face. So this was just a little bit of a replacement product for the rose water spray. And I just apply this onto my face either when it's feeling super dry or also before I use any witch hazel or any facial toner or moisturizer just so the products absorb into my skin a little bit better. And then the next kind of like shower related tool I want to talk to you guys about is my dry brush. I got this a couple weeks ago and I have been using it like every time I shower basically when I remember to. But I got also got this from TJ Maxx I think. I'm pretty sure it was like under $10 so you can really find these things anywhere. But I have just heard so many great things about dry brushing and I want to start doing and adding into my routine. So I noticed that my legs and like arms are a lot softer when I get out of the shower. So I picked up one of these and I've been using it for like two or three weeks now and have been really, really enjoying it. And then lastly, what I want to talk to you guys about is this little set. I posted this on my Instagram along with the dry brush. And I just want to talk to you guys about these products. So these are the necessary 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 i don't really know how to pronounce it but this is the eucalyptus and fragrance free lotion kit so i got the full kit with the body exfoliator the body wash and then the body lotion so the first thing of this kit i want to talk to you guys about is the body exfoliator and the eucalyptus scent so this smells so good it literally smells like a spa when you use it and it fills up the scent fills up your whole shower when you use it but this exfoliator goes on really really well and spreads over your entire body so smoothly when you use it um, and I use this before I shave to kind of like loosen everything up. It just leaves my body feeling so much softer after I'm done using it. So I've been loving using this almost every time I shower just to kind of like take the dead skin off and then yeah, just kind of start fresh every day. And then on top of that, I'll use the body wash. This is also in the eucalyptus scent. I've been really into eucalyptus lately and I put it also, I put eucalyptus scent into my oil diffuser. So I've just been really about this scent lately. But this body wash is also super great. It like lathers up on your body really well. So I love using this. And then lastly, what I wanted to mention was the fragrance free body lotion. I think it's great that it's fragrance free because like I talked about with the rose water, the perfume isn't really great for your body unless it's like naturally derived from something like eucalyptus. So I like to put this on at night before I go to sleep and I just wake up with like the softest feeling skin ever from a combination of the exfoliator and then the lotion. And also the packaging on this stuff is like so Instagrammable and it's so cute. I leave the lotion on, I leave these two in the shower. I just took them out to show you guys, but I leave the lotion on my nightstand and it just looks so cute and it's great to take pictures with, but it also works really well. So I've been loving these. I just want to mention them to you so you guys could pick them up. And then right now 
I don't really know what my plan is. I think I really need to read. I'm still reading Where the Crawdads Sing. I have literally been reading that book for two months and I just can't seem to finish it because I get so tired at night. But I think I want to sit down and either like watch a movie. I haven't watched a movie in a really long time. So I think I either want to watch a movie or just maybe some vlogs and just kind of like light some candles and chill out because I was kind of like go, go, go today. And even though I went to the lake and the lake was super relaxing, it was still like I drove for like two and a half hours round trip. So it was just kind of a lot. So I just kind of want to cool down and relax. So I think I'm going to light some candles. So I think I'm going to go and find something to watch. And then I will check in with you guys when I either do something different or when I'm about to go to sleep. I am now in my pajamas ready to go to sleep. I have my candle lit still and my oil diffuser going and I am ready to go to sleep. It's like 10.30 now. So I'm going to go to sleep because I have to be up early in the morning tomorrow. But I'm wearing this pajama set. This is from Abercrombie & Fitch. I got a lot of questions in my last video where these were from. Um, but yeah, they have really good um, pajama sets and so does Forever 21. I've worn sets from them in the past and also gotten a few questions on those. But I just wanted to come on here and end the vlog and thank you guys all for watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you all in my next video.